off we go in week 11 on EA Sports. This one fielded at the five. And he'll be brought down here as the penalty flags come in right away. And we may have a face mask here right at the start. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. The game's first play produces six yards, brings up second down. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback, and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. The toss out to Barkley. And some space here. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. A game there of 30 big ones. But when you're able to break a run against a cover two or a two-deep zone, safeties are back a little ways. What you're counting on is the guy's taking care of business up front and then maybe climbing to the second level. That offensive lineman or tight end getting up to the second level and able to block the safety in order to create a big run. Yeah, making those linemen work with a couple of blocks. They look good doing it there. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. He's hit pay dirt a lot this year, but not that time. Yeah, I'm tracking right there with you. You're exactly right. He's found the end zone plenty of times. No way I can find any fault with the call. He may not have scored there, but of course you're going to give it to him. Another try for Barkley, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two, now third down. I'm getting the sense that Fletcher Cox is making offensive linemen want to take the week off when they have to play against him. <laughs> it's a regular routine for him, isn't it? It really is. That play there, that's him all day long. Good luck trying to block him and keep him from disrupting your offense. They've been stuffed twice here for losses. Now it's third and goal. From the gun, Jones. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. The touch and time are critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. So on fourth down, on comes the Giants kicker, Aldrich Rosas. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And the kick by Rosas is good. And the Giants are off now to a 3-0 lead. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game, that has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now a give right side. Swift. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. 
Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Back-to-back four-yard runs. Now, look, if they just do that all the way down, field ball ends up in the end zone, but that's a little difficult to do. Yeah, I think now third and two, that defense ready to stiffen up and stop that run. He's crashing. He's checking crap. 36, 36. On third down, Swift. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. It's fourth now. So on fourth down, Britton Colquitt on the punt. Back deep, Golden Tate. He only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. And maybe getting a little too cute there on the punt return. Sometimes they forget Paramount holding on to that football. I really do believe most of the return guys think to themselves, when I get the ball, I'm going to make the play that's going to change the game. I'm going to break it. I'm going to break it. And you love that they have that attitude, but your point is so well taken. What do you have to do? First and foremost, hold on to it. Take care of the football. That's all he needed to do. And all the way in. Touchdown, Great New job, York. Saquon Barkley, his 11th touchdown of the year. And the Giants strike quickly here for six points. Aldrich Rosas on for the extra point. He's got it, and now it's a 10-0 lead here in the opening quarter. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Go, go. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's... Defenders giving chase, but I don't think they're going to get there. The 20, 10... And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. A great effort there with touchdown number eight on the year. As his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Bryant tacks on the extra point, and that'll cut it to three at 10-7. Yeah, after the touchdown, here's Bryant now to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And still a lot of football to be played in this season. We're only in November. A lot can happen between now and January. But if it ended today, they would just be on the outside of the playoff picture looking in. So a lot to fight. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Fletcher Cox in there to drop him for his 11th sack of the year. And that's their first sack of this game. But how about last week? Six sacks. Great coverage downfield, which helped that pass rush. They are really working in sync right now. He's going to float this one deep right side. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Sidney Jones. And they get the football. They'll set up shop at their own 49-yard line. The 
ready at the line. This Philly offense set to go. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now a give right side. Swift. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. How about his performance last week? Over 200 yards. I think his decisiveness. One cut, and he goes. That's what's really made him pile up the yardage. And the yardage he piled up last week, easily honored with NFC Offensive Player of the Week. I would have voted for him. The great 57. 57 to Mike. Mike 57. 40, 40, 40. Just get it. Hey, hey, check 25. Wentz now on first down. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Zach Ertz, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Eagles have taken the lead. Here's Bryant for the extra point. And that makes it 14-10. And after the touchdown, here's Bryant now to kick it away. This fielded at the two. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. 14, Giants 10. Ready? 10 logo. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Hey, two. 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 On second down and four. Jones, they'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. With that grab, he now sits at 200 for his career, and maybe more importantly, a first down. Barkley with a carry on first down, and he'll get about four, so second and six forthcoming. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, you talked about the need for them to establish the run early. They've been able to do that here in the first half. And that means that the whole offense has adopted that attitude and that persona. We're going to take care of this young quarterback. Let's all get together and run it and take the pressure off. Flushed out right. And yeah, he's going to keep it here. He's got the first down and more past midfield. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. The last drive, remember, similar situation. He forced the ball into coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something worse than what it was. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. It's a giant first down on a gain of 16. So first and 10 now from the 30. They keep it with Barkley on first down. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 11 and a giant first down. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. Come on, set, 50, plant. 
You won't see me in your nightmares, son. <laughs> From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he's going to go down back at the 27-yard line. He sat. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Gotta imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Now Jones, eluding the pressure right. He'll run it. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A nice job of eluding the pressure there, scrambling for 11. I thought they were going to sack him there like they did on first down. Great coverage, but he found a way to move with his legs. Yeah, his ability to take off. Not only did he get some yardage back, he got a little bit extra. Really helps him on third down, makes it manageable now. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, the ball gets tipped in the air, because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Well, with the kind of half he's had, I think we can forgive him that run, right? Not every run's going to be a big play, is it? No, and also the blocking just wasn't there. No room to run. Yeah, defensively, they got to find a way to build on that because he's eating them alive in the first. Jones hit, and the ball's in. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because... This is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Third and 15 here after the first and second down plays went in the wrong direction. Throwing Jones. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. I think normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but let's adopt it in this case. He's a stat sheet stuffer. Had the interception earlier, now a sack. What, he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta. That's about all he needs, and he's going to go for it. Rosas' kick is good, and the lead is down to one now at 14-13. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes. You don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it. After the field goal, here's Rosas to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. 157 to go in this first half on EA Sports. I will remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Space to maneuver at the 40. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And all the way up to the 45-yard line. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. A big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. From the gun, it's wins. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Now Wentz. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Throwing on first is Wentz. 
And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. And he's taken down inside the 30. On first down, Wentz. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Let him know, let him know. Let him know, let him know. Now wins. Now they go screen. It's complete. A little too much extracurricular there. When you have a game with a lot of contact, tensions are going to run pretty high. You're going to be emotional, but you have to harness it somehow. And he didn't on that play. Shotgun snap, and then the give to Sanders. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Five yards, a good run there, and now second and goal. Second down and goal. Wentz got him in. Open, it hurts. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Carson Wentz with two first-half touchdown passes. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. And that lead is now seven with a chance to go to eight or more if they want to get crazy here, which we don't expect. But I just know the way the game's being played, the analytics, there's going to be a lot more of going for two in a lot of situations, isn't there? Yeah, there's going to be. And I think their focus here, they don't want to give up anything going into the lockers on the other end. Just a little bit of time left on the clock. Yeah, they don't want to do anything to erase the good feeling they have right now by getting this late score in the half. Yeah, after the touchdown, here's Bryant now to kick it away. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock out and go to the locker room. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. We got to get the ball, Deacon. Hustle, hustle. Not wanting to take a chance this time, they'll keep it on the ground. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. But one more time, they'll keep it on the ground. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. So we have reached halftime here in what's an eight-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. And this will be a touchback as that's...
Tails over the end line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They have the lead, now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. Adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. Now a play fake here on first down. And this is Ertz with it, right side. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Fifty seven is the mic. Watch the curl. Watch the curl. Watch the curl. Check three. Check three. Check three. Check three. Now wins. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Now a handoff here to his running back. Second down, a little more productive than first. Seven yards on the gain. It gets him to third and three now. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. They'll keep it on the ground. Swift. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. The ball's still a few inches shy of the marker after the three-yard run, so now a little soul-searching on fourth down. And no signs of the field goal unit. They're going for it on fourth down. They'll try and run for it. And he gets this down to the 18. Good enough for a first down. They only needed a few inches, and they didn't get much more than that. But by about the width of a shoelace, they convert on fourth down. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Now they'll throw it. Wins. Dancing to his left. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. It's not like pressure to affect the accuracy and the timing of a guy trying to throw the football. And on that play, they ended up flushing him to his left contacted him as he's trying to throw the football and that led to the incompletion an incomplete pass on first down that leads to a second and ten Wentz going to throw to the end zone, but it's incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down here in 10, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range. So now you don't take any unnecessary risks, but you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. Big play coming up. Here's third and 10. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they look to throw. And now another one thrown incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight, 
he was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. The kick by Bryant is good. And that will bump the lead up to 11. So put another three on the board. All things considered, a good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense, the way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field. But they're real excited to see their offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their part. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned, because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. He's going to wind up and air it out. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Well, your QB's been sacked four times in the game already, and they're the holding goal. And you know darn well the offensive line coach is frustrated and upset that he's been hit that many times already. He doesn't really care that they hold now. Just don't let him get hit anymore. Back to throw. Jones escaping the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So they will tread backward on the holding penalty. And I know that they're going to get coached up and they'll get yelled out a little bit, but let's face it, it is hard not to do at the speed and pace that they play. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Now Jones, off play action. That escapes the sound. And they're going to sack him again. The fifth time they've gotten him today, and this one results in a safety. And Charles, at some point, you can't keep worrying about big play. Can this be perfect? You just have to get the ball out of the end zone. And in the offensive huddle, that was discussed when they called the play. Just get out of the end zone. But you know what's interesting? A lot of the times in the defensive huddle, they actually call a set and then say at the end of it, get a safety. So it's preached, it's coached, it's thought about. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Throwing now is Wins. And open. He's got it complete to Cortland Sutton. A good pick up there. 13 yards as they get closer for third down. It's now third down and eight. Now Wentz on third down. He completes this to Sutton. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards and a first down for Philly. They all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Muddy throw right there to move the sticks. Wentz now... A perfect 8-for-8 eight eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and 8. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there? Swarming to it and not allowing that to happen. Did not let him get downfield. From the 45 on second down. Wentz. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. 
And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's the Eagles in possession of the football and leading this one as we get ready to start the final quarter. Wins to throw again. And this is caught by Jackson. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 42. Charles, you'd said the magic number was probably right around 20 for this defense because they're facing one of the top five offenses in the league in terms of points where they've had their moments, but this offense, just a little too good, isn't it? They really are because no matter what you do, and they'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Deshaun Jackson, his second touchdown on the season. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning? Right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? Bryant now to tack on the extra point. And that one pushes the lead up to an even 20. For the touchdown here's Bryant now to kick it away and they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And the last time they had the football, they surrendered two points on the safety. And they don't want to do that one again. No, not at all. It's almost like a bases clearing double, isn't it? Give up a couple of runs. Sure. <laughs> just, mess, just messes things up for you offensively. But now they've got to go ahead, take it, set it aside, and move forward. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Jones on first and ten. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Derek Barnett able to record his fifth sack of the season. Now they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Looking to throw. Jones forced out to his left. Oh, he just needed to throw it away, but instead, out of bounds he goes, and that's a sack. The intended target, Saquon Barkley, and it'll bring up third down. Here's Jones. From the gun, he'll throw. He's going to loft this one deep. A battle for it, and it's intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Richard Sherman. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this. And now nothing but green ahead of him. 20. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A great play there. His second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. Bryant's extra point up and good. And that stretches the lead all the way up to 27. And after the touchdown, here's Bryant now to kick it away. The 
Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Well, Brandon, he's had a great day, but sometimes the other guys make a play against you. What's that expression they like to use in the NFL? Those guys get paid, too, you know. Yeah, in college they say, hey, they're on scholarship, too, in the NFL. They're getting paid, too. With the day he's had, you can have one go in the wrong direction. Give them four on the carry there, but that only takes them back to where they started. Third and ten. Jones now off the play fake. He sets to fire deep. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Avante Maddox. And they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40 yard line. Boy, so another interception, CD. Uh, it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it, or you start thinking about going to his backup. And opening there on that first down run as he gets this forward for about eight or nine. That looks to be eight officially, so second and two. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads. Bowled over a few people. Look at that one. Right up the gut. So after three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Dances by him. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Makes it third and two. The Eagles on third down, two for five to this point. Here it's third and two. And he'll give it here to his running back. He'll get the first down and more in San Antonio. And finally wrestled down at the eight-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. And my friend, I think it's safe to say that this game is pretty much deceased at this point. It's taken a knee, so to speak. It is definitely this victory formation. Take the snap, take the knee, call it a night, you know, call it a game, call it whatever. I agree with you totally. I don't think there's much left to get except for those who want to run up the score. <laughs> I knew this was over about a minute ago when you took your stat sheet and just flipped it over your shoulder in the trash can. Yeah, that's that's, my, yeah, that's similar to the guys cutting tape off yeah. right before the game's over. We know this thing's done. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. Don't forget today. Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo going Exactly. Forward. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. And never forget it because... You're not going to want that feeling. No, you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may meet up with this team again. Four yards on the pick up there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. Topper! Topper! 
On third down, Jones. Oh, he almost intercepted it. They're just forcing it into too many tough spots. That was almost a fourth pick of the game. And now fourth down. And the Giants send out their punter now as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. An eight-yard return there after a punt of 47. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When, when do you go to the backup, let him get some time? And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. We, we, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they will take them out. But for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. And shutting them off, now open field. Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for Philadelphia, it's an important win in terms of staying in the postseason race as they move to 6-4. and four. And They will hit the road next week to take on the Seattle Seahawks. Meanwhile, for the Giants, it's a loss that will drop them back to 500 through 10 games. And they'll try to rebound next week on the road in Washington. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.
Hey, jump hop out it, hop out it. Rep, where you from? Where you supposed to pop in your projects? Hey. Pain driven, itching, drumming. Hey. Hey, look how far we coming. Hey. Heartbeat, on the streets, you can do it. Hey. Ain't real for the weekend, sweet. This sugar, one man on me, but get deep. Watch what you doing. It's magic with the gang. We ball out, it can't get tragic. All we got, we gon' let you let you have it. Stuck in my ways, think I need to change my habits. What would you do if you were me and didn't have it? Look in the mirror now, I'm feeling like a savage. Tell my son I love him for him, I'ma make it happen. Now my dreams reality, not going back to back to back. You say that you proud of me, I turn my back, you laughing. Now I hit the scene, they like lights, camera action. Living in a dream, now my music, they be blasting. Step out, I'm a star, always in the latest fashion. Had to set the bar, bar, try to catch me lacking. Bank account for my son, he won't have to struggle. You can see it in my eyes, all I do is hustle. They tried to knock me off my feet, I'm ready to rumble. Feel like I ain't eight in weeks, working off the muscle. Oh yeah, oh my, we ride for my brothers, no lie. All you, all you can die, never wrong, they right. I ain't changing my side, yeah, we in it for life. life. And I've been up in magic, with the gang, we ball out, it can't get tragic. All we got, we gon' let you, let you have it. Stuck in my ways, think I need to change my habits. What would you do if you were me and didn't have it? Look in the mirror, now I'm feeling like a savage. Tell my son I love him for him, I'ma make it happen. Now my dreams reality, not going back to back to back. You say that you proud of me, I turn my back, you laugh. Hey, how could you lie to my face? People claim that they be loyal, they be taking up space. See my Roski lose his heart when he was fighting that case. Took so many yells, I'm not going back to those days. I'ma treat you how you treat me, do you like how it tastes? Shawty, use up, use up. Can't treat you like my ace. I got way too many problems to be worried. I'm straight. Me and Craig, Craig, Craig had to watch for the Jakes. On the road, this road crazy. I get 80 a show. Say my money, stack it up and look like I'm like I'm like foreign cars driving fast. I never done this before. Get, get on out my problems. Let me, let me. When I've been up in magic, with the gang, we ball out. It can get tragic. All we got, we gon' let you, let you have it. Stuck in my ways, think I need to change my habits. What would you do if you were me and didn't have it? Look in the mirror, now I'm feeling like a savage. Tell my son I love him for him, I'ma make it happen. Now my dreams reality, not going back to back to back. You say that you proud of me, I 
Turn my back, you laughing. Check the wrist, man. Got him hot. Hey, man, can't ball like this, man. Lord, pass the pig scam. When he stretch a distance, I'm talking a few hundred thousand yards. You just on your fifth grand. Run it up, 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 count it up. Hey, hundreds and fifties and twenties, no fives and no singles, don't count on them. Hey, she wanted like me because I blame she can't count on him. She tried to be nosy and hit up my ex. She like, girl, you can count on him. Hey, hey, we need more. Tell him we need more. Putting numbers on the board. Like 16 cars in my front yard. Hey, 30 on my wrist, what a point to God. Big numbers, big numbers. 100 minute bag, that's a big number. Big numbers, big numbers. Whole team counted, that's a big number. Big numbers, big numbers. 100 minute bag, that's a big number. Big numbers, blue hunts. Whole team counted. Oh, I had to get back up. I had to get back up. I can't take no 
I'm slide, I'm with it. Better see me now, oh God, I'm litty. I know that you're tryna go be. Better run up the cash, you love to spend. Better kill it and did it again. I'm with it, ten, no, I'm down to win. I can't feel bad about it. I know you sad about it. I know you sad about it. Okay. I know you sad about it. Okay. I just got bags from Prada. Rolling up. I'm in a brand new model. It'll be here tomorrow. I don't got fears or problems. Only got real ones round them. Only got real ones It take a week to count it. Then I'm back up. Name the place and we back up. Running these racks up. Hundred mils a week after. Dying from laughter. When they come to handles, never had one. With a bad one. Made a mill today and ain't my last one. Oh, I had to get back up. I had to get back up. You better call back up. It down when the paint hot, left hand on the wheel. I'm closing the top when the rain drop. I'm keeping the game in the headlock. When throw it blind in my dreadlock. In the end zone with the mid dot. One phone call, get it dead stop. I feel like I own the season. Say one thing, just give me a reason. Knowing you're mad, I'm undefeated. Top dog, making it even. Oh, I had to get back up. Back up. I had to get back up. The NFL on EA Sports is in the great state of Tennessee at Nissan Stadium here in Nashville. This crowd here fired up for football as a moment ago their Titans were introduced. This should be a good one as the Titans get set to match up with the Tennessee Titans. The Florida Atlantic man, Greg Joseph, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Nashville. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. to the 26, just a one-yard gain. They'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. Well, we saw him there. Room there, but there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Let's see what you got. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The sack by Harold Landry, the former Boston College Eagle. Third and long, it's Tannehill. Going deep for Walker. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Titans. Delaney Walker. 79 yards as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. 
So many times you think of these tight ends catching the ball already in the end zone, but today's tight end, they can run after the catch, too, to score. They are big, they're strong, but they're extremely athletic, and they can surprise the heck out of you when they get the ball in their hands and they're running away from the defense. Extra point up and good by Sucka, and that makes the score 7-0. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 24. On the ground, this is Derrick Henry. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. On second down, it's Henry. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. Got an extra defensive back out there for the Titans now here for third down. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he will not get there as they stop him short right around the 34-yard line. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. An ideal start defensively. They already have the touchdown. Now they get the stop. Just like they drew it up on the chalkboard. Does that sound dated? Right? It might have had a touch a little bit. It's all right. All right. Grease board, heck, computer. Exactly what you want, though. Score on your first drive. Stop them on the first drive defensively. They only needed a few inches, but still some anxious moments there. But they do convert on fourth. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. They'll try the air now with Tannehill. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. Right, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. It's caught, Smith. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you had gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. It should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan, all the things you worked on in practice. But you have some teams that when they get down, their natural tendency is to aggressively strike back. And let's see if they want to get outside of the game plan we expect and try and be aggressive on their first series. And he's going to come up a few yards short. Brought down at the 45. It's a four-yard pickup, and that'll bring up fourth down. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They'll run. It's Henry. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. First down, Titans gain of 12. The one thing I have learned about this league, more and more, you've got to take some chances. You know, if you play everything conservatively and play everything exactly like, okay, I know what to do in each situation, I don't think you're going to get very far. I love the call there going for it, even on his own side of the field. Yeah, and even though, even though you're on your own side of the field, they were creeping towards midfield, so not as crazy as if they were back at their own 20. Right? Show, yeah, showed a little faith in the defense too, right? Yep. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Throwing quickly, that's caught by Brown out wide. 
And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did. And obviously, they liked his measurables. Otherwise, they wouldn't have brought him on to the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them Ready or don't get to third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. Here we go on four, Tannehill. And that's complete to Lewis. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Fourth down, no problem. 19 yards that time, but now it's first and 10. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. A first down carry for Henry. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. This will be caught by Brown. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Tannehill looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Trying to punch it in with Henry. And he will take this one in for a Titans touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run as they are now on the board here in the first half. They were able to stop him at the line on first down, but this time he punches his way through. And sometimes just because you're stopped on the first run, it doesn't mean the play call was bad or incorrect. You might just need better execution and just a tad more determination. And they got it done on the second try. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Kenny Vaccaro. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. Well, Brandon, this is a former first-round pick, and he's been a bit of a disappointment in his career up till now, but he's still got room to grow. And this is an excellent play right here to come away with the football. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 40. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byard. And he'll return this one just shy of midfield to the 49. CD with that incompletion, let's talk AFC playoff picture. I think you and I agree that if you put together any sort of power rankings, we'd put Baltimore number one, certainly in the AFC. But you look ahead to the playoffs getting started on January 4th, who do you see as their main competitor for that Lamar Hunt trophy? Well, tradition and us not wanting to be wrong dictates that we say New England next, and rightly so because of the number of Lombardi trophies they've won, how they've always played at this time of year. But the bottom line to me is 
The prime contenders right now for Baltimore, Kansas City. Patrick Mahomes has got it together, and the defense is playing better. And Buffalo really showed me something when they beat Pittsburgh in Pittsburgh on a Sunday night in Week 15. Now here's a pass on first down. It's knocked away and incomplete. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Now it's Tannehill. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Delaney Walker, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Titans have taken the lead. Extra point try now for Suckup. Got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now to put together some nice plays. From the 29, Tannehill. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. They'll run on first down. Henry. Rashad Evans out of Alabama had the tackle defensively. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Yeah, he's able to get most of what he needed on the carry there. Seven yards on the gain, and it's third and two now. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. Derrick Henry. Yeah, Henry fighting for the marker, but I don't think he got there. He did not. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Feeling like they're not quite in field goal range yet. They're going to go for it on four. They snap it to Tannehill. He's going to look deep down the field. And that is going to be incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And as a result, it'll be Titan football on the turnover on downs. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. Less than 30 seconds to go in the half. Pretty good starting field position, all things considered. You'd think they definitely have time to get the field goal range. Yes, and you get into the huddle or you come off the bench here and you call multiple plays. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Super Bowl 49 hero Malcolm Butler. That late in the clock, second quarter, why not just run it a time or two and get it into the locker room? What you're saying makes absolutely perfect sense. Run it and get out of there. But I'm just wondering if the pressure of today's NFL and the high-powered offenses that you're facing may force them into saying, let's try and get some more points. They go play action here on first down. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. 
Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now Tannehill. He's got his man sharp complete. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the left hash, this from 39. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is. Right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a real, I'm doing it, though. This is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Check four, check four. Pilot, 64, wait. A shotgun handoff to Henry. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. And a tough ask here. They're going to go for it on fourth down and nine. They're going to go. It's Tannehill. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Daquan Jones fighting his way home to get the sack. But down two scores, I guess they felt like they needed to go for it. They must have thought they had a play to dial up that they could get it, and it didn't work out. They must have thought, as you pointed out, they had a play, and they were probably looking at the number of possessions that they thought were left in the game. And down two scores, they must have felt like they couldn't risk not taking a shot here and giving up that chance. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Sweet. Check 50, check 50. They'll run it again with Henry. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. On third down, Henry. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. It's a gain of six as they're able to convert, and now it's first and goal. They'll try to run for it with Henry. Hammering for the goal line. He loses the football. It's picked up by the Titans. Points on the board. A lot of teams...